Hi, welcome back. On this video here, I'm going to show you how to display dynamic text, how to use dynamic data with PHP, and how to change a couple settings on our co-editor for those of you that downloaded brackets. So first of all, let's go ahead and open brackets. And we have this white background that I want to change. You can leave it white if you want. I'm going to be using a dark background since I'm used to programming in a dark background. So I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Extension Manager, go to the Themes tab here, and I'm going to type Mono Kai. And this is just a theme based on Sublime Text, which is a co-editor that I use that I paid for. And it has something very similar to that. So I want to install that for this co-editor. As you can see, it changed the background to black. All right? You can go back here and change themes on View. And you can change to whatever you want. All right? You can come and use that one if you like. I'm going to use this one. I'm used to it. Even though this one looks good. All right? If you agree. All right? So if you see me with a different color background later on, you know where, where to come back here and change if you want. So I'm just going to use Monokai for now. All right? Another thing that I want to do is I want to grab this embed.php. I want to do a save as. And I'm doing it with my keyboard, by the way. But you can come here. And you can see the keyboard shortcut right there on file. So I'm going to call this blank.php. All right. You should have this file. You will have this file in your course exercise files. So for example, if, I, if you see that I have all the files here when I'm giving you a lecture and you don't see it in your course exercise file, don't worry about it. As long as you have what I'm showing you in the in the moment, if I'm showing you a file like this from blank.php, if I'm showing you a lesson on that and you have it, that's what you need to worry about. Don't look to the left side here. And if I if you look to the left side and you see other files here, don't get confused. Just pay attention to the to the one that I'm giving you the lecture on. All right. So with that, we have this blank.php. I'm just gonna build a little structure by putting the exclamation there and clicking tab. Pressing tab on my keyboard. And here, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to save it right here. And then I'm going to do another save as. I'm going to call this dynamic because I wanted to have that blank PHP there. So that way we can use it to do some save as on other documents that we're going to be making. So I'm going to call this dynamic, dynamic text. That's what we're going to be creating here. This is going to be a little outside the scope of this uh, section here because. Well, not section, or this couple lectures in the beginning, because we're going to be talking about something. And we're not going to be talking about, but I'm going to show you variables, which I'm going to be showing you in a later lecture. But I want to show you an example how we can display dynamic text. So I'm just going to write an H1 tag in PHP, in HTML. And this is going to say, hello, student. All right. I'm going to click here. To display it in my localhost. Now, if you don't, for some reason, you don't have this set up, make sure that you go to your file and it's going to be in your project settings. Make sure that you have this file path right here HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost forward slash demo. This is the folder that we are working on. Make sure you have that set up. If you don't, Go ahead to your local host and make that demo there and keep and start following me. All right. Make that demo folder and that blank.php and start following me. If for some reason you don't have that. But you should have it in your exercise files, all right? So all you have to do is go to your exercise files and copy it. We have an H1 tag here, and we, as you can see it, all right. That is displaying there, that text. Now, what happens if for some reason I want to display the same text. This is a title, for example, uh, the the title Edwin Diaz Diaz official site. For example, official site. Let's say this is a title for a for my website. What about if I want to display this in 20 pages that I got in my website? I would have to physically go there and copy this from this page here and paste it in those other pages, right? I will have to do that 
and that would be a static text that would be something that would stay there all the time what I want to do is produce something dynamically something that I can insert in one page and it would be available on those 10 pages how can I make that happen how can that be possible with PHP PHP can actually help you create dynamic data that you can use over and over in different pages without needing to add it manually so let me show you how that works let's say for example I want to change this text here on all 10 pages right so we create a file we include it we create a function and we put that function on those pages and then with that function we call another file that has a bunch of data that we can use in that specific page whenever we want now I don't want to confuse you here but I'm gonna give you this example right now so I have this text right here what I do is in a, let's say in an, imagine this I'm in another page and I have some PHP and in that page I have I create something called a variable and a variable is a container and I have this data assigned to that variable we I'm saving this data here because I want to I'm actually gonna call this data this variable title look at that title and I have this h1 in 10 different pages what I'm going to do is inside this h1 I'm going to embed some PHP and I'm going to echo out the title right now if I just echo out this I get a problem there I don't have anything there let me just take out the echo as you can see I have nothing there if I use echo and I use the title that name you can see that I'm displaying the title right here I'm displaying that text inside that variable so you can see here that by me including this little PHP here this PHP function on the pages I create this value here well now you might be wondering so what is the purpose of this you, I still, you still have to go physically and copy and paste this code here on all 10 pages yes and no you see now that I have this variable here on all 10 pages right this is in one page this variable is in one page now every time I want to change the value here I want to change the stats I don't have to go to those 10 pages I can go to that specific page which in most cases is called functions.php and change this and I could say Edwin's site and now when I change this value here on one page it's gonna change in all 10 pages and that is dynamic data dynamic text right in this case it could be dynamic numbers we can be any data you want it could be pictures all right so just by having this in one page all right with a value there and having this little function on all 10 pages right I create dynamic data because I can, I just change it in one place and it would change it in all different pages I could have a thousand different pages there and it would change it for me automatically so beautiful right PHP helps us do that all right so hopefully you were able to learn something valuable in this lecture here and I got a lot more in store for you so keep tuned and let's go to the next lecture if you have some time